guys, this is Hassan from HTFX and let's start uh, the week with SPY, okay? Now, uh, I will start from the monthly chart and actually uh, my plan is to leave it around there, but I wanna show you uh, more than a couple of scenarios about this, okay? So, the logic of my thinking comes from the fact that this is so bullish, uh, it's like uh, pretty hard to do an analysis such as this one, okay? Now, from what I can see from just this chart alone, this, this whatever this, uh, it looks like a triangular formation, this probably after, if it's not a continuation pattern of sort, this should be something of a start, or a th this should be end, this should be a start, or this should be either a continuation pattern of something. So if this is a, a continuation pattern of something, this is more likely to be, for example, such a C wave or a third wave or something, okay? But uh, for the first scenario, I would like to talk about this being the wave A. So. So I would think like this is the start of it. For me, this makes more sense, okay? So if this is wave A or wave one, I think we have two options in this situation. Now, if this is wave one, this should be wave two somewhere, yes? Or wave B in that case. Now, here's the, first situation well in order for me to put wave b here or here or somewhere i have to find in one whole lower degree this time an abc because we know that the second wave or b wave they are both corrective waves so because they're corrective patterns it should be treated as such and it should be uh it should have some type of a corrective move on one lower degree. So if we choose, for example, a different color for our uh, lower degree, so let's say that this is the situation, okay? It looks like this can be a wave A, this can be a wave B, and this can be a wave C, which is what most of the guys do. And I agree that this looks like this, how it should be. Now, but just because you have an ABC, it doesn't mean that this can be the B wave or this can be the second wave, okay? Now why? Because the market actually should, because the market should do something about it, okay? Now what it should do? Well, it should do something like this. It should confirm that this, for example, B wave, uh, the price action after this C wave has to do something in order for me to, uh, in order for me to understand that this is a wave. So what it, it should do? Well, you should draw zero to B trend line like this, and the price action, and you should take the time taking for wave C to form here, okay, and you should put it on not this one sorry and we should put it on the right side here okay now the price action should have done something like this so it should start from there and during this time it should have come here and here okay look it does this it doesn't do it i'm sorry it doesn't do it if it did it then i could have put here second one but now it doesn't means that the B wave cannot be here. Okay? Now, if that is the case, if that is the case, what is it that we have to do? Well, now what we have to do is find us an X wave. Now, this looks like a good X wave. If that's the X wave, then I'm sure you can see this small triangle here, something like A, a B way, and a C way, and a D way, and it looks 
something like somewhere around here E wave. Now this can be the D wave as well. Okay. So if this is the situation, then let's actually treat it as such in a way, something like this. So this triangle can be a C and E baseline or A and E. Okay. Does look like more like a C and E. Now, if this is the uh, situation here, it means that this is the end of B wave. Now, why is this important? Well, because now we should uh, get our trend lines, horizontal rays. So this is the start. This is the end of the wave A or one. Now, if you would take a fib retracement from the start to the end. Now, if this was the B wave, it meant we were looking for, now uh, forget about this one and two, please. Now, if this was the B wave, it, it meant that because we have retracement more than 618, because it meant that we were actually talking about a flat pattern. But look, now the B waves ended here. It means that we are talking about a zigzag pattern. Well, that changes things a little bit, okay? Now, the next thing that you should do, of course, to have a C wave. Well, which is perfectly normal. Now, what I would do, because of this situation here, I would take the time taking for wave A, which is this. Okay, something like this. And I would put it on where this B wave ends, which is here, okay? And if I actually move this to the upside a little bit and move two, actually did move two bars, I think, okay? So this logic states that this is the C wave, which actually we see a quite a bit ret um, retracement here. So if this is the case, now we should look in this scenario like this. Now that this ABC is done, we need a zero to B trend line again, just like before. Okay, so I just made a mistake, sorry. So let's take our trend line again, okay. And this is the zero to B trend line. And did it break? Will it break or no? That's the question. Now, if you ask me, even if it breaks, it will not come back to the 130. But if it does, then I will say this ABC is a simple correction by itself. And this should end something in the bigger degree. Okay, so let's find the bigger degree okay it will be something like this and after this i will say a new move has just started okay but but this uh if it doesn't do that it means that we are actually looking for an x wave okay now if this is an x wave it means whatever this move is after the c wave is a corrective wave as well so in the monthly chart after this c wave whatever this is nothing but an x wave so far okay this is one of the scenarios that i maybe this was the end of the x wave too by the way we can have this too for now we are not so sure but is it likely yes so this is one of the scenarios that i'm thinking about now the other scenario can actually be where we think this is the wave one this is the wave two in that case we are going for the third wave okay so because of this now i don't need uh something to stop me okay so this so you don't need x wave so we have one two you don't need this time anymore to one, two, and we are in the third wave, which is likely you may think to yourself, well, this on the one lower degree, this can be, for example, wave one. Okay. This can be this something like wave 
tool okay and this move is doesn't look it doesn't look so impulsive here to be honest but it's it's still possible scenario also there is always a chance of running correction as well so we should think we should see what's going on here before deciding something okay this is another scenario that is actually valid also there's another scenario too where we can actually think something like this so if this is the wave a this is the wave b it means that we are going for the wave c okay if this is the wave c what it can be well it can be something like we have a one here we have a two here okay and we have a three here we have a four something like this something like this and something like this maybe okay now uh this may be a terminal move okay i'm not saying that it will be this doesn't look like a terminal move to me so much but then we may have the fifth wave and then the price has to come back all the way to the b wave again that is another scenario as well well it these are just three scenarios from the same pattern that thinking that this correct to this correction is the correct way to look at things okay so and uh, i think this is it for me for about this scenario but what i think the most likely one is the first one but um we should see it more developing of course if i wanted to take the first scenario which let's go back to it actually if this was the C wave, okay, and let's remove this, 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 and this, okay, and if this is the X wave, what I would like to do actually, go to one lower degree, okay, and try to understand, try to understand, um what the move started is doing does it look like an impulsive move or a corrective wave okay if it's a corrective wave then after this a b c x we, we should obviously start the wave a okay this is what i would be looking for if i am convinced that this is the end of x wave and this can be a b c which is possible it is possible, of course, but let's see what's going on more, okay? But um, I would rather sit aside on this because the fundamentals and the situation are a little bit not on the favor of trading uh, something so volatile, if you ask me, for my taste, of course, okay? So I hope this makes sense, guys, and if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you.